So if we look here, we ls dir1 on the left here, and there is one file in it, foo.txt. Foo.txt, if you follow it, you can see that its inode data is here. So we have an inode with a device number and um, an inode number. So again, these two things together gives it a unique identifier. And here's all the information about a file about this file specifically. It's a regular file. These are the permissions, 644. The UID is 501. The GID is 20. Notice that it doesn't say Dave and staff. You would have to get that information. GNU stack gets that information for you. In the iNode itself, it just has the numeric representation. So we have UID 501, GID 20. The size of the file is three. That means if we were to cat it, there would be three bytes in that file. The number of links to it is one. We'll talk about links in a second. And if you want this information, you need to call stat or lstat. These are the syscalls. So stat or lstat are the syscalls. So in your C program or any other language, you would do something like that. And stat is the program you would execute. And then if you were to cat the file, you would get the data blocks for foo. I didn't actually put the data blocks in here, but I think foo is, what, what did we even put in foo? If we cat dir1 um, foo.txt, we get hi. 